I'd like to explain a little bit about the way in which the assessment system is changing in the new GCSE science courses. The new courses are intended, right from the word go, to be entirely terminally assessed. So unlike the current courses in which there are quite a few papers, each of which assesses knowledge and understanding in a very distinct area, the new courses will have fewer papers but will expect students to have a broader understanding and to reflect that within their responses. There will be quotas and marks that will be attached to various different aspects of science. So for example, in terms of students' mastery of mathematical skills, at least 10% of marks in a biology paper will be attached to questions um, that um, involve a significant challenge in terms of mathematical skills. 20% in the case of chemistry, 30% in the case of physics, and 20% in the case of combined science. There will also be at least 15% of the marks that are attached to questions that assess students' understanding and application uh, of inquiry skills, and those will be based on the stipulated practicals that are included in the specifications. It's important to appreciate, however, that one of the significant differences is that there will be fewer papers, but each of those papers will cover uh, a greater breadth of content and students within those will be expected to be able to link ideas so that instead of questions necessarily being very closely tagged to one area of content, um, that they'll also be expected to develop a broader view as well.